It's in its early stages and don't expect it to bring you a drink before you die of thirst, but this robot is being controlled by nothing more than the power of thought. The uh, level of embodiment of the interface between the human and the robot should be in a way such that you feel that this robot is part of you. The technology is called Brain Computer Interface and is being developed by French and Japanese experts at the Joint Robotics Laboratory in Japan. But what's it like trying to control a robot with just your thoughts and a suspicious looking hat? You just have to clear your mind and uh, not to think about a lot of stuff and uh, just be focused on what you want to do if you want to uh, navigate the robot or take the object. Researchers point to the Fukushima nuclear disaster as an example of where this technology would have been useful. A robotic avatar responding to thought in an environment too dangerous for humans. It's not hard, however, to think of more sinister applications. The use of drones in warfare is already under intense scrutiny and concern is rising at the United Nations over the possible future use of lethal autonomous robots. Looking at this prototype, however, it all seems a long way off. Even those developing the technology agree a lot of effort is being invested for some limited results. I now think that with the existing technology for brain monitoring we can do much better than we are doing now. So there need to be a breakthrough in the way we monitor the brain in my opinion. Of course when this is solved I think that the other things could be easily solved. One day the designers believe controlling robots with nothing but your thoughts will become practical. For now, it's one small step at a time. Paul Allen, Bloomberg.